Greetings, folks. Two and Proper here, bringing you yet another in my series. Folks, we love inexpensive. We love versatile. We love universal. Why wouldn't we love the Crossfire EDC? Okay, folks, here it is. The Crossfire EDC. What we have here is Kydex and breathable mesh and memory foam and nice sturdy rivets and a great belt clip. It's easy to put this on and take it off. It does not require surgery like some holsters or a construction crew. It goes right on. So this is a very comfortable holster. But from the get-go, I've got to start out by telling you that this is not your greatest example of retention. As a matter of fact, I would say if you're going to do that upside down pistol retention test, which here's a similar holster to this Crossfire EDC. This is the Nate Squared Tactical holster that I have for my P30SK, right? This is my favorite setup right here. So my P30SK is in the Nate Squared Tactical holster and I could turn this thing upside down and shake it, right? Now, this seems to be the yardstick everybody uses for testing retention of their pistols in their holsters. And this is designed specifically to hold the P30SK. So Nate Squared Tacticals Professional Series holsters are designed to fit specific pistols, which is why the retention is so great. And the similarities between these two holsters is that they both employ this uh, divot in the trigger guard right here, which is designed to hold the trigger in place and give you some degree of retention. And this one right here is a universal type holster, which is designed to fit numerous handguns. And the difference in the problem is, is that though their retention methods are similar as they were designed with the uh, trigger guard divot there, the retention for this holster is not nearly as good. As a matter of fact, I would say that for some people, they would consider the retention for the Crossfire EDC holster to be uh, inadequate. A lot of people will say this is not a good holster to have because if you've got your gun in this holster, and even if your pants are tight enough, if you do about 10 cartwheels, the pistol might slide out. And again, that may not be a big deal to you. People of my age and physical conditioning aren't known to be doing cartwheels, but you never know, you know. But this holster does not have what I would call great retention. It has adequate retention and it fulfills its purpose. And chances are, if you're putting this inside your waistband and you're pulling a shirt over it, this is a concealed carry holster, your gun's not going to go anywhere. And I've been wearing this holster with a few different guns, and my guns don't go anywhere. They don't come up. They don't ride up. And again, I'm not doing anything acrobatic or out of the ordinary. So if you're someone like me, all right, fine. This is going to be great for you. This is a good universal holster that has an advantage in that it can fit guns that there's not a lot of holsters available for. Take, for example, this here, uh, Walther Creed, right? Let's get a look at the Walther Creed while we're looking at this. We'll use this to show some sexy guns. All right, the Walther Creed. No, I'm not muzzle flashing you or me. Give me a break. The Walther Creed. So, there's not a whole lot of holsters. There's not a whole lot of people dedicated to doing anything for the Walther Creed. But this works in here just fine. Right? And retention, it's okay for Walther Creed. The shake test that everybody likes to do. The one that everyone lives by. Unless you give it a good sharp and there it comes right so it's okay and that's because this is a slightly thicker gun and this is a universal holster so you got to expect that how about say for example the bulgarian makarov Ooh, look at this beautiful gun boy did i luck out with this one the bulgarian makarov look at the finish on that let's get up really close and do some ooh and ah shots yes but retention uh no thank you there's no retention for this one. This is a slim handgun, a very slick handgun. But again, you know, um, this can fit in this holster and under the pressure of your belt and your waist holding this in place, unless of course you're a pants sagger and you like your pants really loose, it will hold this in your waistband adequately. It'll be good for just casual concealed carry purposes, not for action purposes. The Smith & Wesson m and 9 3.6, my Glock 19 replacement. That's right, folks, my Glock 19 replacement. You Glock fans, there's a box of Kleenex on your way out the door. So anyway, this fits perfectly in this holster right here. So I could use this for my Smith & Wesson. Retention, eh, it's okay. 
it stays for a little bit so it'll be adequate you know for just casual use how about the grand power gp1 not a buttload of holsters out there for the grand power gp1 one of the best shooters i have ever owned this grand power gp1 and it also sounds great racking oh my gosh i could just do that all day Uh, oh, anyway, so you guys get the picture. Um, anyway, the Grand Power GP1, this beautiful handgun that it is. Right? What a beautiful handgun. i got to give you guys close-ups of each of the guns we're using, you know. It fits in here uh, very nicely, right? And you can tell it's a slightly thicker gun, and you can tell that it puts a little more width on this holster. But again, that's going to be the pressure from your waistband, uh, the friction holding this thing into place. It's not going to go anywhere unless, of course, you are doing cartwheels again. How about the Walther PPS N2? One of the best single stack handguns available today. Beautiful, sexy. It's Walther. Let's give it a shot. All right. Oh, it gets held pretty good if it's in the right place. And one good shake and out it comes. So that's cool. The trigger card for the Walther PPS M2 interacts well with the divot. How about the P30SK? All right. Will it go in there? It's thick. It feels thick, but the retention is not there at all. But again, don't worry about it because you're going to have it squeezed in between your waistband and your belt, so uh, it should be fine. So this is a good solution for those of you who have a bunch of those oddball guns like I do that uh, don't have a lot of third-party support for. Uh, this fits a variety of different handguns, so this is a great idea. The retention, again, I would say it's adequate to less than adequate. But I like that they're attempting to do the trigger guard thing right here. I would suggest that maybe they uh, change the design. I like the trigger guard thing, again, but if they could just change the design just a little bit so that it can more adequately or uh, safely lock a handgun in here. But it's good for people who casually wear inside the waistband. So it's worth looking at. Check it out, and I'll have the link in the description below. So folks, if you like what I've been doing on the Two and Proper channel and you'd like to see more frequent content, better content, and for things to get a lot more lively around here, why not consider going over to Patreon and becoming a supporter of the Two and Proper channel and the Two and Proper network? I've only got two small membership levels going right now with a $1 membership level and a $3 membership level, which enables you to get in on drawings and uh, have access to two and proper's photography art and stuff like that. Not only do you get the things that you would get in addition to watching two and proper on YouTube, and by becoming a supporter of the two and proper network, you would be helping us make things a lot more lively around here. Lots more to be had for the members, uh, more interesting reward tiers to come in, and lots, lots more if you just consider joining the Two and Proper Network on Patreon. Because again, you know, uh, YouTube's not exactly supportive of free speech after all. So many of us content creators are depending on things like Patreon so that we can continue to bring our subscribers better content and more frequent content. And again, I'd like to thank everybody who has supported the Two and Proper channel for the past five years. Uh, we're at over 4,300 subscribers now. And uh, tell your friends. So if you like what's going on on the Two and Proper Network, tell your friends about Patreon. But also tell them about Two and Proper on YouTube. And don't forget about Two and Proper on WordPress. I just got done writing a piece on WordPress that you might just like, especially if you're a man. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we're speaking right now. To improper at gmail.com and you can also write tattoo cat that's t-a-t -T, the number two k-a-t at gmail.com and don't forget to check us out on instagram and twitter thanks for watching folks god bless america and keep on protecting your families yourselves your flag its country and its honor it's the patriotic thing to do and we love america so it's the right thing to do